Good Wednesday morning, everyone. Hey, I hope everybody's having a great week. Uh, we got some really exciting things going on over here. Uh, I'm going to do a video today. I don't normally do demos on Mondays and Wednesdays, but I'm going to do a demo today. Based on Monday's video, I showed this little, uh, this little layout template thing that I made um, for making stock signs. And uh, this is one that I made out of PVC, but I've had several requests, you know, can you actually make one on camera? So that's what I'm going to do today. So before I actually get into that, I'll show you a couple things that I made a lot of up in, uh, up in Oatman. There's a, uh, a gunfighter group up there that does a lot of charity work. So I used, I made a, this is actually a sign that I just haven't carved yet that I probably never will carve, but you can see I made a layout template for this. I used to cut these and I cut these out of my scrap and then I would donate them to the, uh, by the dozens to the, um, the gunfighter group up there because they give them away or they sell them actually to people that wanted uh, um, a memento from Oatman. And then once the back was, uh, was sanded, they would all autograph the back. So it was kind of a neat little deal. I think they charged five bucks for them and it went to charity. So I did that uh, for them up there. But the way it made it easy for me to lay out is make a little layout template for it. And I made the layout template the same size as this little half circle. Um, another one that I, signs that I sold a lot of up in Oatman was this. Um, and again, I made myself a layout template. So the layout on this was just seconds. Uh, this is an old beat up one that's been hanging around for a while. That's a sticker? Uh, yeah, the flag is a sticker. That's um, made it really quick. So I just uh, used a decal and put on there. I used to do this with the uh, sports teams too. NFL logos and different things like that. I would carve one end of it and then stick a, a logo and then put a, a finish on over the whole thing. But I don't have the little layout template, but I made a layout template so that the layout on this was super fast. So here's what I'm going to do today. I am going to just basically, I'm going to carve this. This is about three and a half by eight inches long. And I suggest when you make these layout templates, guys, make them the same size or at least the same width as your board so that uh, when you lay it on the board, and I'll show you, I, I've got a, a blank board that will do a layout with it. But anyway, uh, without further ado, I want to get into this thing because I don't want this video to go too long. So the first thing that I think about when I do these layout templates, when I have done them in the past, it's been a while, so I hope I don't mess this up. First thing I think about is, okay, what's going what's gonna to be a dropout? So I've got one, two, three different letters here that are going to be dropped out that would have dropouts in the middle. Now I could probably get by and just let them drop out, but I'm not going to do that just for uh, simplified sake. I'm going to uh, leave those middle pieces in there. So I'm just going to make some lines here. That's where I want these things to stay connected. And I will always do those first just because those are the tricky ones. So I don't want to, um, I don't want to, you know, get in a hurry and, and mess those up. Now what I've done here is I've, I'm using my profile bit and I've set the depth just enough to go through, uh, through this thing. So I don't, I don't even know if you can, if you can see this. Mm -hmm. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. So I just barely set the depth, which is a little over an eighth of an inch or about an eighth of an inch. And again, I'm using my profile bit, using hardboard. So I'm going to go ahead and fire up the router, put my cheaters on, fire up the router and uh, cut that, the A, the A and the O first, get those done and then I'll get into the rest. Now you'll know, I, I don't know if you can see, but I've drawn lines top and bottom of all these letters, just like I would if it was a regular sign. So here we go. And why don't Power's I have power? Good. Here we almost go. I guess I should plug this in. That might work better. What? Your light? Um, I could put the light on there, but I, I, I think they would be able to see yeah, it. Yeah, maybe they'd be able to see it better. So let's do this. 
and turn your cord around. Oh. Yeah. Um, okay. Hold on just a second. <laughs> Almost messed up. I'm glad you said that, though. I have to change my base and turn it the other way. That way, the cord is facing me, and you guys have the vision there. And let me, let me set my depth again. We didn't expect all this. This is kind of an ad-lib deal here. Yeah, that's just barely cutting through what you guys saw before. All right, so now let's put some light on that and see how that's going to work out. I got to get my deal twisted here. Huh. Oh, boy. It doesn't want to cooperate this morning. So, let's see here. Let's try it this way. Oh, there we go. Just got to keep playing with it. Here we go. Okay, so you guys can see that 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 hardboard isn't the isn't the easiest to carve. When I was carving that out of the PVC, it worked a little bit better, and the vision was a little bit better. But you guys kind of get the idea. I basically just left those pieces in there so they wouldn't fall out. And again, remember this just gives you kind of a a basic line to go by. I could trim that. I think I will trim that 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 side of that A up a little bit, and maybe that O. Let me do that real quick. It's kind of tough when the that uh, sawdust is right on there.
kind of brush that off a little bit and see if I need to trim that up. It looks like I need to widen that line a little bit around that S. Uh, everything else actually looks pretty good. So let me do that. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to go ahead and finish these letters uh, up off camera, and then I'll come back and we'll take the next step, because there is one more step that's really critical after this is done, but I'll show you that when we come back. Okay, so I finished the, you know, the preliminary cut on all of this. Now what I want to do, and this is really important, since I cut this with my profile cutter, that or my profile bit that has a V to it. If it if you look, huh? Can you hold it yeah. Up? If you look at it, so that's what it looks like from the front. But check it out from the Wait, back. That's, huh? I'm just kind oh, okay. of getting close. So because I use a profile bit okay. that has a V to it on the back side, it doesn't look the same. See how narrow that is? So what I have to do is now I have to cut it from the back side. Now what I'm going to do before I do that is I'm just going to kind of sand off those, uh, the, the little bit of spraying there. Now with my, if I was cutting this with that eighth inch PVC like that other one that I showed, uh, I wouldn't fray like that. But So now here's what I'm going to do. Now I'm just going to go over those lines and I'm just going to open them up. Carefully, hopefully. things to really be careful of here guys now if you are cutting with a straight bit 
Like I know some of you cut with an eighth inch straight bit, then you wouldn't have to cut from the back side because it's a straight cut all the way through. I like my profile cutter, but it's because it's my favorite bit and I just love the way it cuts. Um, but if you use a straight bit, you wouldn't have to do this second operation here. I just, uh, but it's what I love. The other thing that, um, that you really need to be careful of is this U. Now I could have left this U at the bottom connected. If you'll go back and watch the video, you'll notice that when I, when I came around here with a profile bit, this thing started to chatter a little bit. I could hear it, I could feel it, that this thing started to wiggle a little bit because the only thing holding it is this top part. That will come into play on you know anything like that, like maybe the center of this Y, you'd want to be really careful. It's not near as bad as this, but these S, these pieces in the S, you'd have to be careful there. So you, you have to kind of, after you've done a few, you kind of get used to that. But uh, that's basically it. Yeah. That's basically it. So now what I'll do, just to try and make sure there's, there's no little burrs in there, I'm going to brush that carefully and try and clean out those grooves. Now let's see if it will uh, lay out. So now um, I, I've got a board here that's about the same size. I think this is a little over three and a half. Yeah, it's about three and five eighths. So the neat thing about having it the same width as what your boards are going to be is that you don't need to draw lines or anything. You know that if you've got it centered here and here and everything's straight, then all you have to do is just set it on the board and just kind of eyeball it. Now, it, it, this particular one, I made the board a little bit longer, but it wouldn't matter. But let's say that you were making a, a fast sign that said quail trail and you wanted to move it down here and have room to put a little quail on it. Or, uh, you know, it could be a rabbit crossing and you would, you know, say rabbit crossing with a little image here. So it, this is just a, just a sample kind of thing. But uh, let's, uh, let's see how this thing lays out. So I'm using, you could use the, the primer, which is what I'm using here or you could use the ink. This is again the primer that I use. I don't use the primer paint. This is what I use for layout, either the primer or the, the Marsh stencil ink, which you guys have seen that many times. But there's my layout. It's just that fast. Hold it up. Huh? Hold it up. Okay. So now you'll know that when you go to carve this thing, you just connect those lines and you could draw them in if you're new to it and you, you know, you're not used to it. You could just connect those with a pencil or you actually, I guess you could connect them with a Sharpie if you wanted to. I don't normally do that, but you certainly could. Like I never do that, but. Now, when I do these, I don't normally do them for outset letters. These, these will always be inset letters. But then again, I'll just take my, my straight edge and I'll draw a line, top and bottom, just to make sure. And uh, man, it, it, if you've got a lot of stock signs that you're doing, guys, this, you know, it'll take some time to make this thing but once it's made, man, the layout is just a breeze. So that's kind of my tip for the day. I wanted to just kind of show how that, that whole thing works. And it's, uh, man, it saved me hours and hours, and, you know, tens or hundreds of hours on layout with stock signs. Um, so I hope that was helpful. Uh, that is it for today. And uh, we have the LTS coming up on Saturday. No, so there's no, remember no there's, sign huh? No sign covers of the day because I did the demo. Because okay. this went kind of long for the demo. Um, so no, no video on Friday because we're doing the LTS on Saturday. Now, a word of caution on the LTS. Remember, if you want to watch live, uh, uh, send me a friend's request, Eric Roten on Facebook. And then when we go live, it'll show up on your uh, in your Facebook on your on your timeline. However, here's the thing: uh, kind of again, a word of caution. We've had our I, I don't know if it had to do with the eclipse or the weather or what it is, but our signal out here lately has been 
really bad. So it's kind of a hit and miss thing on the on the Facebook Live LTS. But we, you know, any that, that have watched it, we hope you can join us live and hope it goes like a breeze. We hope it does, but we've had issues lately. So we'll we're gonna do it one way or the other. We're gonna do it. So if you can join us, great. 9 a.m. Uh, Arizona time on Saturday morning the 26th but one way or the other it will we'll be filming it with a camera as well and we'll be putting that um, on YouTube hopefully if the signal holds out by the end of the weekend dad's got a, a really good demo um, plan and I do as well so hope you guys can join us everybody have a great week we will see you hopefully on Saturday morning bye guys thanks bye